everybody, it's me Adele and welcome to my channel Sofa Serenity where I talk to you about my sewing journey. Welcome back if you're a regular viewer and if you're new here, I hope you enjoy this vlog and consider subscribing. So today's vlog is my Stitch Festival vlog where I talk to you about what I got up to on Saturday when I went and also show you some of the goodies that I got. So let's crack on with so it. So I'm looking a little bit less glamorous than I did on Saturday. No makeup, not wearing anything me made. It's Monday lunchtime and I've been just doing a mad dash around the house because we've got somebody coming to view the house today. So fingers crossed that goes well. But I thought I'd take this opportunity to jump on and talk to you about the Stitch Festival. So I went on Saturday and I went with quite a few of the people from my Staffordshire Social that I go to and also met up with loads of other vloggers and people out of the sewing community on Instagram as well. And it was just an absolute blast. Now I wore my Nomi 2016 pattern, which is the dress with the big poofy sleeves. You have to excuse that noise in the background if you can hear it. It's the um, kitchen extractor fan that actually comes into the conservatory. So in a minute, I'll be smelling the lovely smell of bacon for my husband cooking his lunch. So yeah, so I wore the 2016 Nomi uh, Je Adore Butte um, pattern, which is a big poofy sleeve, and I made the view with the poofy sleeve and the short and the three quarter length dress, and it was absolutely amazing. I loved it. I had so many compliments on that dress. I felt amazing in it. I got the fit really good on it. I wore a Lady McElvoy fabric in a... Um, dip in the lake and in the light colourway in the light blue colourway in the lawn and oh, people were stopping me touching me I could see people looking at me in my dress which I've never had before um yeah it was just I felt really really nice in it and I got to I bumped into Amelia from So Amelia who I knew was going to be wearing the same dress as me obviously in a, in a I think she was wearing it in a liberty print but she looked gorgeous and she'd made the short sleeve version so we got a little picture of us twinning in that which I'll insert and um, we, I caught the train with Sarah from Sarah Sarah Style because she only lives up the road from me. So I picked her up very, very early in the morning and we headed off to the station and we met Heather, who is from our Staffordshire Social um, at Tamworth. And um, yeah, had a lovely little train journey up there, having a chat and getting excited about what we we're going to be buying and what we we're going to be getting up to. When we got there, we met up with Bex from What Bex Sews and also Jenny and also Ruth from Seamstress Ruth. And then, annoyingly, Angel Tube Station was actually closed. So we had to go on the bus, which I don't think I've been on the bus for about 15 years, um, which was an experience. So we jumped on the bus and got to the Business Design Centre just as it was opening. And um, yeah, the rest is history. I will show, I'll show some footage in a minute. Katie from Whatever Katie Sews, who is one of the ladies that went on the retreat with us, she's a great organiser and she'd organised a kind of meet up at the end of the Stitch Festival for a pub. So there's a lot of vloggers meeting up that day and had a wonderful time. For those of you that came up and said hello to me, um, hello, thank you for coming up and saying hello to me. Um, it was lovely that you um, come and said hello and thank you for all the lovely compliments that I got on my dress and on my Instagram, it was just great. It was such an amazing day. I don't think I actually bought any fabric until after lunch because, um, yeah, I was just, it was very, very busy and just chatting, basically. It was great fun. We watched the catwalk. So the catwalk was um, Karen from So Little Time, um, who is a buddy of mine. She was doing the catwalk. Um, yeah, and, yeah, the catwalk was made as Lady McElroy. I mean, I should have really been on the catwalk for Lady McElroy. And, the la and Ray from Lady McElroy did have a go at me saying, why didn't you tell me you were wearing that fabric? Because he hadn't bought it with him. So lots of people apparently were going up and asking for it. And he didn't have it in that colourway, which is a bit annoying. So sorry about that, Ray. It was just amazing. I had a great day.
want to know what I bought. So let me dig out what I got. So my first purchase, I'll try and do this in order. So my first purchase, you're gonna like think, who is this and where's the real Adele? But this was my first fabric that I purchased. It's like an off black tencel twill. Um, I think there's just under two meters here and it was in the remnant bin at Rainbow Fabric. So I decided to get this because I do want to be making um, more trousers this year, especially as I lose weight. And obviously I need some plain fabrics for trousers. And I thought this was lovely. So it's a tensile, which is gorgeous quality, two meters. And the remnant bin was four pound a meter. So I got that one. And then I also in the remnant bin got this like jacquard, cotton jacquard in black and white which has got like this textured stripe down it there was nearly three meters of that and um, but it did me the whole load for 20 quid so i got like nearly five meters of fabric for 20 pounds and i thought this would just make a lovely summer dress um for the summer really light cotton gorgeous cream and black which is contrasting colors which really go um so yeah i was really happy with that little purchase and that was my first load of fabric from rainbow fabrics obviously i don't think they have these in stock anymore because it was um the remnant bin but yeah you could have a good mooch in them remnant bins and they just had lots of different lengths of fabric and um yeah four pound a meter but yeah i don't quite know how i managed to get mine for 20 quid yeah i, I did quite well there so i was happy with that so that was my first little bargain that i got I put these away tidy because I've got a house viewing in a bit, so I don't want to have fabric everywhere. Um, next fabrics that I purchased, I think I went to Roy. So I knew Roy, we saw Roy at the last show that we went to. So this is Roy's Material World. And he had shown us some linen viscose that he was getting in. And he told me he was going to be, they were going to be £10 a metre. Um, and I'd sewn this one colour away and I actually fell in love with it. And when I saw it at the show, I was like, right, I'm definitely getting that. And it's gorgeous. It's this, he said it's like a linen viscose crepe. But yeah, it just feels like a linen viscose. But it's this blue colour with orange and pink flowers on it. And I just love that. Really nice contrasting colours, navy background. So I got three metres of it. Now, I wasn't going to get it because when I asked how much it was, he said it was £15 a metre. So I kind of heckled Roy over. I was like, Roy. He's saying it's £15 a metre. You told me it's going to be £10 a metre. And he was like, oh, okay, you can have it for £10 a metre. So I ended up getting three metres of this for, for £30, which I'm really, really happy with. And I think he's got it in some different colourways. So obviously Roy doesn't sell online. You have to go to his shop. Um, but yeah, they had a few different colourways as well. I think there's a bright pink colourway. But yeah, this was the one that really stood out for me. And I absolutely love it. No idea what I'm going to make with these. So, you know, I got three metres because of that. And then the next fabric I got was a Fabric Godmother fabric. So her new collection that's just come out. Um, there's a few nice fabrics that I like from, it, from there. And usually I'd buy them from So Confident because I get a discount from So Confident. But I don't think they have this... This one wasn't one of the ones that they stocked at So Confident, so I thought I'd pick it up at the show. And I got one and a half metres. I'm going to make the Penelope top. Um, you know I've made the Penelope dress a lot of times from Hubba Ding. Well, they do a top version as well, so I'm going to do a top version. And this is the fabric. <laughs> How cute is that? I just thought it was just the most funnest fabric. And I just love the red and the oranges and the pinks. So, yeah, I've gone with that. I've got a metre and a half of that because it's quite pricey and it's a lovely twill this goes twill mm, love it so this is a new collection i don't know what this is called i can't remember i'll put it in the notes i even give you the v but i can't remember what it is so yeah that's that one nice and then the next piece of fabric that i purchased was for alice and i went to little rosy cheeks and i really like them uh victoria's mizzle dress she's, she's started doing kids patterns victoria has and she's got the mizzle dress and the thing i like about the mizzle dress is it's a jersey top or a knit top with a woven skirt so i really want to get the pattern i didn't buy it at the show because i want to get the pdf because i'm more of a pdf girl and um i am going to make that mizzle dress which i'll put a picture in of but i saw this fabric and i just thought it was so cute how cute is that so i got half a meter of it from bornello fabrics um, which is a gorgeous shop. There's loads of fabric in there that I could have purchased. But yeah, she had this cotton, which I thought was gorgeous. And it was £8 half a metre. So I got half a metre of that. 
little bargain um, and I'm going to I can pick out any colour really can't I for the top um, version so I have to have a look in my scraps and see what sweatshirt or jersey I've got um, probably do a jersey now with it coming into summer and then make the mizzle dress so yeah I'll have to buy the mizzle dress first I haven't actually got it but I'm going to get it on pdf but yeah I thought it was really nice with all the sun shines on it um as I said I mentioned little rosy cheeks so went to little rosy cheeks and bought three sets of um labels so we had these made by mummy ones which I love ran out of ones that um little made by mummy ones for um Alice then I got these ones where have they gone so she started doing um ages so these are the four to five ones which I thought would be perfect to put in Alice's clothes and then I got swing it shake it move it made it so I think it's about the Spice Girls so yeah I think that's the phrase that the the Spice Girls say but yeah they've put it to made it which I think is great so they've got those ones and then also these ones which are the savage average savage not average um i think it's made i sew for me and made by me in these little funky colors so i've got those and then you also got a free one i made this which are really nice as well in those retro colors and then opposite um little rosy cheeks there was the specky seamstress now she wasn't there laura wasn't there because she's just had her baby but i did pick up a couple of things i picked up these little iron on patches um i'll open them up so actually. we've got it's what's on the inside that counts what oh you can buy these in the bigger format as well but i like the little ones please look after me treat me with kindness and yourself too made to measure thanks i made it you are a superstar and sewing is my superpower. So I just thought they were really cute to put into Alice's clothes. So I got a little pack of those. And then I also, even though I never use my bias binding, I think I've got a bit of a bias binding obsession. I've looked at this bias binding so many times and never got it, but I decided to bite the bullet and get it. It's the boobies bias type binding. I just love it. I just think it's fun. I think it's fun looking at which boobs look the most like mine as well. <laughs> I won't share that with you though. And um, But yeah, really love the... Uh, booby um but it's fine and i accept that if you have a look at this one it looks like this one the lady's having a sex to me because there's a little scar there so i just think that's really cool and then obviously just showing that everybody's boobies are all different so yeah love that and then i also bought these buttons and they're porcelain buttons and i just love them because they're all sewing related now they are porcelain so you could only hand wash them they would break in the sewing machine in the washing machine but i just couldn't resist them so i got these i don't actually know where i got them from caroline barnes ceramics actually that's where i got it from is that one and then a couple of boring purchases i bought two heat pens for drawing on my fabric that were two pounds and then i also got myself a little retractable tape measure for two pounds with this cute little bunny on it and then i also got these now i don't know what i'm going to make with these but i just love them so this shop was called shoot lane and it, she's an artist she um, art she creates all of her artwork and then she gets them printed onto scraps or well not scraps onto cotton um, and they had all different animals and so you know me I'm a sucker for a robin so I got the robin and then I got they did these ones as well so you got the robin and then the little robins and I just thought these would be just gorgeous for some type of pillowcase or something I don't know I just wanted to get them because I just love them so much and they were two pound per panel um, and then also because John loves squirrels or well, red squirrels in particular um, I got the red squirrel with the little squirrel matching. So yeah, I'm thinking of making something quite cute for us. I don't know. I really don't know. I just like them. So I bought them. So yeah, they're really nice, but they had so many. I think there's a few of us that bought these. I know Michelle bought some, um, Sewing Bunny. Um, I think Anna from You Got Me In Stitches brought some. And yeah, they're just really cute. So I got those. Um, and yeah have a think about what i can make with them any ideas let me know something that like you know can be kind of decorative 
I did think maybe a coaster or I don't know. Yeah, maybe a coaster or something. I thought I could cut these like in half like that and then put the squirrels around the side. I don't know. I don't know. Answers on a postcard, but yeah, just couldn't resist them. So I got those as well. Pop them in there. And then I got three more pieces of fabric. So Lady McElroy was where I went to. Now, when I go to Lady McElroy, they have the remnants bin, which is usually um, lots of different lengths of remnants and they're 12 pounds. So I like to have a rummage through there and get my um, fabrics from there. Now, because I was wearing my Lady McElroy dress, um, Ray was very generous and gave me some good deals on the fabric. So that meant that I was definitely going to buy some. Now, the first one I got was the lovely Nicola from formerly Little Miss So-and-So. Um, she was helping Ray out um, on the stand and she was wearing a Seasons of East dress, which you know I love. Put a picture in. And she had made it in um, the, the dragon fabric. I don't know what it's called. I'll have to put the name up. But I had seen this at the Sewing for Pleasure and really liked it. And it's this fabric. <sighs> so nice. Look at those colours on that black background. It's in the, it's in the lawn. And oh, just stunningly beautiful. And I just said to... Nicola I'm just going to copy exactly what you're wearing I want a Seasons of East dress in this so um yeah two and a half meters of this I got because that was enough to get the Seasons of East dress out of it and I think that's going to look stunning so yeah got two and a half meters of that gorgeous and then I also saw this on the floor in a chalet and loved it it's called Chicago Polaroids I think but look at this really is me this so it's got open it's got like um just all little images from around chicago and i just thought it was really cool for some kind of shirt so i got two meters of that and i think they do do this in a lawn as well in love so yeah that's that one and then finally never seen this one before it's a new one and it's called shoes or something along those lines again i'll put the name in and link it all below but this is a new one and it was one that me and becky both purchased and katie from whatever katie sews purchased it so me and becky are going to do a collab on it we think and we've got a picture of us both holding it up but look at this how awesome is that so we've got two meters of it and it's got this gold thread in it and oh it's just a lovely fabric i mean who doesn't love a shoe in all those neons so yeah really really like that so yeah we're going to definitely do a collab on that and we've got two meters each of that one as well i could have spent an absolute fortune in lady mccalroy uh, well i did <laughs> saying i could have i did um and that's all the fabrics that i purchased so what's that one two three four one two three four five six seven eight fabrics seven for me one for alice three of them lady McElroy. so i'm really really happy with that little haul i think in total what did we spend? i mean i think i probably spent about 150 pounds on fabrics um, but I haven't actually totaled up the damage yet. But I feel like I was quite restrained. I didn't get to look around every single shop. So maybe if I had, I wouldn't have been restrained. But I definitely went with intention. I definitely knew I was going to be spending them Lady McElroy. And I definitely knew I was going to be getting that fabric from Roy's. But yeah, that's my little stash. So my little haul. So what do you think? Do you like it? Do you not like it? What do you think I should make with them? Give me some uh, ideas especially for this one. What do you think? I want to do something quite cool in this, but we'll see. Um, but yeah, let me know. And if I didn't get to see you or I didn't get to say hello, I'm sorry I didn't, but it would have been lovely next time you see me at any of these things, please say hello. To all of the lovely sewing community, if I've forgotten to mention anybody's name, I apologise, but I'm going to blame the menopause. Um, but yeah, I had an amazing time. It was so much good fun. After the show, we went on to the pub and we all had something nice to eat and yeah I got the train back about half eight and then got back to 
home at half ten at night so it was a very long day but i was on such a high i've loved reliving the the day on instagram and if you have never gone to a show before or you're like oh i haven't got anybody to go with or whatever um just go you can go on your own like honestly the sewing community is so lovely um i'm sure someone will take you under their wing um it's just, oh, it's incredible. I absolutely love it and I cannot wait till the next one. The next one I think I'll be going to is the Festival of Quilts in Birmingham. And then the next big one is Ali Pali in October. So yeah, dead excited. Okay, that's all for me for now. I hope you enjoyed this vlog. And if you like this vlog, please click the like button. If you don't subscribe, please subscribe. And if you do want to support my channel any further, you could buy me a virtual coffee on my Kofi account, but obviously no pressure. Okay, I'll see you all soon. Happy sewing. Bye.